Here we go, this is tutorial number two on node editing. Uh, where we left off, we had some stuff. I deleted them, and actually I probably should have shown you that. Let me uh, add something here, uh, such as, um, we'll go color mix. So let's say we had this here. So we had these two videos mixed. Go into their viewer here. If you want to get rid of this, you just click on it, hit delete. It deletes it. Also, last time I did it, but I don't think I mentioned how I was doing it, although you may have noticed, there's a little uh, triangle or arrow here in the corner of each window. You can click that to minimize or maximize a uh, window. So that's nice once you get something you can done, you can minimize it and move it out of the way. Let's go into some touching up of videos as far as colors and, and such. We'll go add, we'll go down to colors, and we'll add RGB curve here, which if you've ever done any photo editing, you're probably familiar with RGB curves. Connect this to our view output so we can see in the back here, and we can start messing with the curves here of the image, and we automatically get an update since we're connected to the view output here. You can do an S curve if you like. You can add as many points as you like to remove uh, the points. You just select a point when it's white like that. You hit this X and it deletes that point. So if you want to remove those. You can also adjust uh, the red curve or green curve or blue curve individually. We'll delete each of those points and go back to just the regular color curve over here. Also, you can choose the black and white level of an image. Uh, choose it like that. You can see, you can choose any color or you have a little sampler option here that changes your cursor here. And you can choose what is the black point. So you find the darkest point in the image, choose that and that will set that to absolute black. And if you choose white, you choose the most white point and it'll create that and turn that to the most uh, white point in the video, if that makes any sense with you. If you're familiar with curves, it should. Uh, and at that point you can start adjusting the curves even more. Now you can also add things like, we'll say, hue and saturation. So by default, since I had this window selected last, it took the output of that and connected the input of our hue and saturation here. We don't notice a change yet because we haven't connected it to our viewer. Now we can start adjusting our hues, saturation, and value here. Now you do have to take in, into account that the order you put these in does make a difference. So here we're going RGB uh, curves to hue and saturation. If we were to change the order of that by grabbing this image here, so we're taking the output of our video and going directly into hue. So right now RGB isn't, uh, the curves isn't calculated into this at all. Uh, if we want to remove a line, we can do it, draw a box around it here. We can now connect the image input here and then the output of this to our viewer. And you'll see that it now has uh, hue and saturation, then curves. And it does make a difference what order you do them in. Play around, you'll see what I'm talking about. So in this case, we're going our original image into hue and saturation, into RGB curves, into our viewer. Now, if you notice, if we render right now, we're not gonna get anything with a black screen. That's because we haven't connected anything to our compositor. Connect that to our compositor, hit render, and there we go, we got the rendered image. Other options we have under colors uh, is things like invert, which is basically taking a negative. So now we have the output of this image, hues, uh, curves, going into invert, and then we'll connect that to our viewer, and it gave us a negative of that. And you'll see that if we go straight from our original image that you get just a negative, an inverted, so a negative of our original image. And we can hit uh, render and you'll see that it's still that from here because we haven't connected the output of our invert to our compositor. And we can even do animate now and you'll get an animated copy of your video. We can escape at any point to stop that and then hit X uh, in the window to close that, obviously. And uh, so that's uh, how to do some color adjustments to image. You can also mix two images, like so, as I mentioned last time. So we can go uh, the inverted of that with the input of that, and we'll go here, and you can see we have the inverted, and none of these effects are affecting this video. You'll see it's that's the background, uh, the mixed is that one, 
with the negative of this one because we actually don't even have these two connected to anything right now. Okay, so let's uh, look a little bit more at some options. I'm going to disconnect these lines here. I'm even going to delete some of these things to get them out of the way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to filters here and you'll see that you have some options for filters. And most of them are here are blurs. So we're just going to grab this image and we'll put it to our output here. And now you can start adjusting uh, on the X and Y axis how much the image is blurred. So that's the X axis which is left and right. If you do Y you'll see it blurs up and down as well. And you have options on what type of blurs you want to do. So if you want to add a blur uh, effect to uh, your video you can do it like that. Remember when you go to render this now you have to connect it to composite. You have do composite selected down here. You click animate and it's going to render a lot slower. The more effects you have, the slower it renders. And you can see that, that right now we only have two, now three frames rendered. And we're doing 100 frames here. Uh, so take that into account. When you're rendering stuff out, the more effects you add, and depending on what the effect is, it's going to take longer to render. So that was video number two on node editing in Blender. Hope this has given you some ideas on what you can do uh, as far as just effects and touching up videos in Blender. Uh, Filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.